मानसवी 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 थी पोस्टर शेर करी देना आमा प्रेजेंट विच पोस्टर थी मतलब
गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून ट्रेनिंग इन नहीं नहीं ना कौन नॉट टुडे अने बिट्स एंड पीसेस सीवियर ये तो थोड़ा छाटा पड़ी ने बंद थी जाए सर आ लोग गौरव न ग्रुप वाला दे आर दे हेव गोन टू गोंडल टूडे ओके so uh, good afternoon all and uh, as as we discussed the idea of institution last week and uh, all of you must have uh, thought about and have worked about the exercises which exercise which was given to you so today's session we will start with the questions from you if you have some questions related to so while you were working on the exercise or while you were reading your notes if you have encountered certain things which was not clear to you so uh, first we will take those questions and then we we'll start with the today's session so students students ma'am yeah acha there is a question from kush kush is asking is there anything which is not an institution so what do you think what do you think kush uh, sir we discussed it today uh, in morning session yes uh everything is institution like we last time in your lecture we talked about our body our family house as a institution uh, what today's discussion was about if we if i plan some rules for myself for my life like uh, i want to go on uh, jogging at 6 am so it is for myself only so uh, surrounding hmm. is not much playing role in that so it, we can call it we cannot call it an institution because mm-hmm. institution mm-hmm. consists not only individual it is with uh, related with others also wonderful yes quite right mm. so it means that uh, every every kind of interaction which has developed over a period of time and has had a chance to to develop a particular mode hmm. uh then it is an institution suppose two people one from uh, let us say eskimo land 
and another from from uh, say but africa and they meet suddenly uh, they both have been sent in in space spacecraft and they land on mars and they uh, run into each other they didn't know that they were two they were both going to be there at the same time uh, so the one thing they will both recognize is that we are humans he will not believe, he will not think that oh that man because his skin is dark or his eyes are different is not a human mm. so that is a biological thing mm. yeah but amongst humans who live in the same place in for a long time they start developing certain ways of behaving with each other and those are the institutions so where there has been sufficient contact and a well defined mode of interaction has been developed or is is continuously being tried out there there is an institution yeah good any other question students do do you have any questions uh, yes ma'am i have a question yes ritu uh, sir last lecture ma apne library ni vat kari thi hmm uh, ke to ema to me sentence kido to ke form of library depends on the rooms of library suppose you have a uh you have a collection of books and uh, you have some a pile of books many 100 200 500 1000 6, they are lying somewhere ek otla upar padi hai so padi is it a library no sir no um some books have been stored in a store you know nobody is reading them now and so they just put them in the store and locked up that store and once in a while once a year diwali time they go and dust the books but otherwise nobody reads them so what will you call that will you call it library no huh? no it will be we in gujarati ma to apne vakhar kahiye vakhar chopadiyo ni vakhar ha gujarati word is quite good because it says vachanale it means it 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 makes it very specific that you have to read there you have to read there <laughs> or you are that is for the purpose of encouraging reading yes so in english also one part of the library we call it the reading room yeah but basically it is the activity of borrowing a book reading it and giving it back that book doesn't belong to this or that person it belongs to the whole community 
and it forms a library from which people can take books and bring them back yes that is a that is the rule hmm. if you take a book you have to bring it back in 15 days if you don't then you will be fined or you they may come after you they won't do anything to you but at least they will ask you yeah? so that's called a library and the institution is dependent on what first of all the belief that everybody should read or would like to read it's a good activity that should take place so some people say all right let us put books because some people cannot afford to buy books or it's not possible for one person to buy so many books there is so much knowledge so you say okay 10,000 books I can't have them in my house so I will say yes let us have a common place where the whole community's money goes into buying the books and we will go and take the books from there so that the understanding the intention intention was everyone should be able to read a book difficulty was nobody not everybody can afford to buy so many books so tradition is form an institution where the books are available and you can take them and then you can bring them back so that the other people who have can also read it not only you hmm. okay what is the difference between uh, a grand dinner and a library jaman hai na jaman continental pachi starters pachi sweets pachi salads in bada juda juda table nahi bana hua hota ha ritu ha sir ha ये पण आम तुम अहिया थी एक वस्तु लियो त्या थी बीजी वस्तु लियो त्या थी त्रीजी वस्तु लियो पण ये तुम पाची नथी आपा ये तो तुम खाई देवाना छ हैं सो इट इज नॉट लाइब्रेरी यू कांट हैव अ लाइब्रेरी ऑफ फूड अनफॉर्चूनेटली और फॉर्चूनेटली बिकॉज़ यू कांट गिव इट टू इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ फैमिली so certain institutions certain some, some things you can do khali practically you provide it it is not an institution but when it has a symbolic meaning or it has a meaning more than magaya is an atm an institution or not ha huh? now this is a good question for us the bank is an institution yes because it is regularly called atm is simply a device for and it can be anywhere you can put it anywhere toilet ni baju ma rakho mandir ni baju ma rakho kahi fer nat padta ena thi to paisa nikal is a device is a facility it is not by itself an institution the institution is money the institution is banking yes yeah so we we can think of all the kinds of things which are let's say petrol pump is it an institution huh petrol pump કે મારી ગાડી ને છે ને ભૂખ લાગી તરસી થઈ કે ભૂખ લાગી હતી ગાડી ને કે મારે એને લઈ જ જવી પડી પછી ત્યાં એવા સારા હતા એ લોકો એને જેટલું પેટ્રોલ જોઈએ ને એટલું આપ્યું છૂટ થી આપ્યું પછી મેં પૈસા આપ્યા પછી ગાડી લઈને હું નીકળી ગયો એવું ફિલિંગ હોય છે પેટ્રોલ લેવાનું પણ વૃંદા ના ઘરે હું પહોંચું અને હું એમ કહું કે બાપા સવાર થી કઈ 
ત્યારે સમજાઈ જાય છે પણ જયારે કોડ્સ અને વેલ્યુ કહીએ ને ત્યારે છે ને ઇન ધ એક્ચુઅલ કોન્ટેક્સ કામ ન કર્યું હોય એટલે દેન આઈ આસ્ક એન્ડ દેન વી ડિસ્કસ એન્ડ દેન અગેન દે ગો બેક પછી પાછું કામ ન આવે એટલે પાછું અનધર સોર્ટ ઓફ અનધર લેવલ ઓફ ક્વેશ્ચન બટ દેટ વોઝ સમથિંગ વિચ વી એન્કાઉન્ટર્ડ Yes. Good. So, yes, that, that difficulty is an expected difficulty. How to translate it into the messages that architecture can give. Huh? How does architecture give messages? And uh, so let's start a little bit simpler first. I know so the inside outside so what is it that makes the inside and what is it that makes the outside the primary action of architecture is to define one space as distinct from all other spaces you understand that the primary thing that architecture does is to say this is jigger's house that is the outside that is not his house this is his house so the first thing we have to keep in mind is that architecture yes riti you said something no okay so the first thing we have to we have to do or we have to note is that architecture defines place places one kind of place different from another place one place different from all the space all around it very simple so the structuring of space is a way of giving a message so say bahar jaina bahar to avi badi baat karai andar avu nahi karwa બહાર તારે જે કરવું હોય તે કર મને કઈ ચિંતા નથી એવું કે કે નહી અથવા આપણે બહાર જઈએ ત્યારે બહુ સંભાળવું ગમે તેમ વર્તન ન કરવું એવું કે કે નહી સો દેર ઇઝ અ ડિસ્ટિંક્ટ ચેન્જ ઇન ધ સેમ સેલ્ફ ઇન સાઈડ એન્ડ આઉટસાઈડ we'll come back to this in a moment but there is also the structuring of time you structure space or place you structure time so you say 5 years ago things were not so good now we have a much better um, ventilation in the house let's say 
or you say 10 years from now i would really like to be something 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 five years ago i didn't know anything then i started learning architecture five years from now i will be an architect i want to be an architect so there is the time of memory which is the past and the time of expectation which is the future and there is the now which which doesn't belong to any of these in the same way a space is defined as outside and inside and there is that small thin line across which the outside changes into the inside or inside changes to outside what do we call it the threshold. threshold so the threshold is the point where all the meanings are concentrated everything happens at the threshold sita ne pan ek pehli lakshman rekha dori aapi thi lakshman એની બહાર નીકળ્યા તો રાવણ લઈ ગયો અને નરસિંહ અવતારે હિરણ્ય કશિપુ ને કેવી રીતે માર્યો કે પ્રહલાદ ને એનો બાપ હતો ટ્વાઈલાઈટ એટ ડસ્ક નોટ નાઇટ નોટ ડે નોટ ડે નોટ નાઇટ and he sat on the threshold not inside not outside then he said not on the ground not in the sky so he took him on his lap ha huh? on narsimha's lap so it is not on the ground not in the sky not with weapons so used his own nails to tear apart hiranyakashipu so this story is a story of thresholds all important stories are stories of thresholds and all meanings in architecture are at the point of the threshold first thing that you have to threshold both in space as well as in time at that point the individual or the group have to change their mode of behavior once they are across the threshold they will behave as a family with all kinds of mischief amongst each other once they have crossed the threshold into the street into the public space then they will all become <clears throat> well behaved individuals dharma gam etla jhagda karta hu par mar to am thau ka the in karta hu ek tam kai nahi ho etle sara manso ki baat karte hu so that change but it also across it's across time two years ago you would have been allowed to do such and such thing because you were fresh students new students but now you are three third year students you cannot do like this and then when you become architects so at any point on the threshold in the now or in on the threshold the spatial threshold behavior changes that is the point of transition from one to the other now the whole thing is about recognizing the threshold so in a plan in a section can we recognize those things which define the points of change
how would we recognize? So let us say we come to a city where all the buildings are built out of uh, oh, let's say they are built out of brick. But there is one building which is built out of stone. How will we read it? Everything else is built, or let's say there are others which are built out of bamboo or mud. And one which is built out of stone. What will we say? What will we think? That building will be for what? What do you think? Tell us. You can make a guess here. Don't have to be right. You can make a guess. Sorry, I'm... Um... मंदिर के मस्जिद के चर्च हो सके हां अच्छा सर कोई पण टाइप में रेस्टोरेंट के बदा लोगों ने अट्रैक्ट करवा माटे हां ये आज नहीं बात है यस अट्रैक्ट करवा माटे हम हां ये पण एक जात नो वैल्यू नो सवाल थे ना के हवे नवी नवी वांगियो अने नवी नवी नवा नवा एनवायरनमेंट्स में खाओ ये एक वैल्यू थे जब पहला मंदिर है जता ये मावे अपने रेस्टोरेंट में जी बराबर नहीं इल्ल मंदिर अपने पत्थर ना बनाओ इजु बस दो इतनो है मंदिर पत्थर नो अथवा राजा नो मेल पत्थर नो है अथवा जेल पत्थर नहीं है अथवा किलो पत्थर नो हो बाकी हवे अपने एम पॉइंट के लिए के कदाच डिज्नीलैंड पत्थर नो हो एवं बने अथवा मॉल पत्थर नो हो एवं कदाच बने that the institutions, what we consider valuable, that changes. Yeah? So, yes. So, the first thing is that a difference of, of material can suggest the distinctness between one thing and the rest of the things. But see, but thou... मकान हम आउड़ा 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 हो है पर ये मां एक मकान बहुत मोटू हो तो ऐसे एक पर सेम a change of scale then everything is made very irregular but there is one which is made perfectly regular square its geometry is defined its prop its proportioned in a certain way it starts from the ground rises up to the sky in a certain way. So it shows a deliberate kind of control over the form. Then what do we say? What do we think? That this must be a building which is so important to everybody, to this society. So through the notion of form and the uh, regularity of form versus the randomness of form through scale, through geometry, 
So suppose everything everything is in rectilinear forms, rectangulars. But there is one which is circular. So what will we say? We we'll think, oh, why is this circular? And you will think it must be something special. So the second thing now that we are bringing in, first we said the difference between an inside and an outside, the difference between the past and the future, that can raise a message. And that is the question of boundaries and centers and, and uh, thresholds, transitions. That's one, which you can look at in all the plans. Second, you can look at all the things that you're studying. You can see where have they done special effort in terms of scale or in terms of material or in terms of geometry or in terms of form. Where have they done something? Where are the walls suddenly thickened? Where is like that? And you will start seeing that that architecture starts making a series of messages. There are also messages in the sequences. Suppose you are going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into something. So let's say there is a house. And in front some uh, there is a veranda, there is an outlaw. Then you go through the door, then there is something. Then you go further, there is a courtyard. Then you go further, there is something else. And the most important person is sitting in a room, in the innermost chamber, which is the most secure chamber. So there could be a house like that. It says, in this house, you have to come step by step by step to come to the most important place. But there could be another kind of house which says, that this house is opening to the outside. It is related to the, to the world. And you immediately and directly come across all the important things in the house. Like Mies van der Rohe's Farnsworth house, which is made of glass. You can see everything at one go, immediately. So, whether something opens itself up to the world or whether it makes you go through many things before it allows you access to the most important things that also shows the, that also shows in the architectural plan it shows in how you move it shows in how many doors or uh, you have to cross it shows in whether you go through a sequence of spaces or you just directly get into where you need to be. So all of these things, suppose we make, we are designing a shop. Huh? This, uh, a shop is, let us say, it is part of the institution of exchange. You give money, take things. Huh? So suppose they made you a shop where it is very difficult to get anything. Would it, would it be a good idea? You know, if you go to a supermarket, how is it arranged, do you know? nearest will be the things which are in big demand. 
so everything of everyday household use will be available straight away jo andar ghusya to ek baju fridge padyo hai ma bada milk products then there is one where there is grains and tea and coffee and all packed things and all that then you go further 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 and things which you buy once a year will be deep inside the shop hmm. and when you come to the payment counter you know what they put there all the chocolates and those things are there because they expect that you will be tempted to buy that you see the chocolate and without thinking you put some more into your basket so the whole structuring of space in the shop is to attract your attention from the ordinary and every day up to the very very rare in that sequence yeah but then it's also the reverse way that the one which is uh which they would like you to buy you know uh, without thinking that is all kept very near the payment counter and they find that people you know without thinking they just put a few chocolates in and it's always uh what is called an impulse sale so every space is organized in a certain way suppose you go to a church then you have to walk through the entire aisle or the nave till you reach the the main um uh, apps where the christ or the cross is there the main place where the worship is consecrated that is at the far end it's not immediate am bar uba uba christ tumne bola hota na te bhai aao 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 eu na ho tare jo tu hai to tu chek andar sudhi aao take your time your mind will will go through a change through that transition by the time you reach there you know in um, this famous architect foster's office you heard of foster huh? he is an english architect very famous so he has an office which is about 50 feet long 15 20 meters long he is sitting at one end at the other end and you have to enter from this end whether you are a client or an employee you are entering at this end by the time you reach the chair opposite him you have become completely his servant huh so that way that space is made in order to make you feel small that he is sitting at that far end and you walk 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 and he is looking at you all the time like that while you are walking kacha pocha no kaam nahi so that way space the shape of space the scale of space the sequence of space all of those start telling stories about what is the yeah okay so you structure space and you structure time and by structuring you give the message now you have to behave like a child now you have to behave like a citizen now you have to behave like a devotee now you have to behave like a customer 
So the very making of that architecture is a way of telling you what is expected here. Any questions at this point? This is quite, quite a, you, you are now, you must have been looking at some plans. Are you getting somewhere what you are struggling with? Hmm? Sir. Yes. I. I I want to share something. Mm. Uh, so there was a so so when when we initiated the first exercise, uh, we asked them to study three houses. Yes. Wherein uh, the first one was a house where they they stay. Second one, you said that uh, you you study the house which you have designed last semester. Hmm. But we made a little change wherein we, we said that you study the house which they had studied in their relate RSP1 oh. where they had been for seven days, five to seven days hmm. and they had observed the activity. So second hmm. was a case which they have uh, studied, they have hmm. been there. Hmm. And third was a very different cultural context in hmm. which they have to do the study from secondary sources. Yes. So, uh, so there are a few students who have uh, joined our college from this semester. So, from another school. So, interesting that one of the students said that uh, I I don't know the the house at Malod because I had not been a part of that RSP. So in a man you lucky message Cairo okay I I don't know the house and I am not able to understand the codes so then uh, during the discussion we raised we raised the same point that if I don't have any data I have drawings I have plans and sections and isometric but I don't have any details about that house or the people staying in then in that house Will I be still? Will I still be able to identify the codes from drawings or not? Mm. So, so this discussion is going in the same direction. Like, so through this discussion, maybe uh, we are trying to understand that without knowing the people, bale khabar hovi joye thodi, but. Uh, if you still have the plans and sections, you will be able to identify these thresholds or yes. these changes. And yes. then maybe you have to conjecture the reasons of the, of the yes. same. And it doesn't matter if you are wrong there. Because, yeah. this, see, uh, let us take it for, for, let us take a few examples like this. The Romans had something which they called the Basilica. In Roman architecture, there was a form called Basilica. Now, Basilica was a place where cases would be conducted. Uh, let me see if I can share a drawing of a Basilica. Just hold on. Sir, who Karu? Ah, if you can. Yes, I'll do it, sir. Eight minutes. Yeah, I also got it. So I will, I will show you this. Yeah, thing. okay, sir. So, come in. Yes, sir.
Yes. Now let us see if I can manage that. Yes, now I'm Can you see? Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So this is a basilica, Roman basilica, huh? So on two ends where there is number three is written. That is where the judge will sit. And in number one, at two sides, the lawyers and the person accused or fighting the case, they will stand there. And in number two, the people who have come to see the case, they will be there. So this is what a basilica was for. It was a court of law where two cases could go on simultaneously. Big building it used to be. Okay. So the now if we go to the next one. And now you see This one. Yeah, this is an important Trajan's Basilica in Rome. Yeah. This is how it was. Okay. Now we see what the church was like. Now let's see the church. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So now, the same building type, the Roman Empire collapsed, and the Christians found that for their worship meetings, this was a very useful thing because in the semicircular end, you could have the, the cross and image of Christ and whatnot. All the people who had come to worship, they could stand in the middle. And in the sides, in the two aisles, you could have various other uh, saints. And some small groups could worship there. So it worked very well for the church. So now, if you come across a basilica plan, you see these two round ends, you see this long space, then you start saying, what could this have been for? And some of you might say it is for worship. Somebody might say it is for a court. Somebody might even say it is for a game. That, uh, you know, you stand at the two ends, two teams are there. And then they are playing a game with each other. It could be for that. Antkadi Ramma Mate Bausari Jagyasi. I'm some summer fellow Kavalini fellow competition. Why? Ek Akko Kavalinu group Abadi Betu, Ek Abadi Betu. Don't do the guy. A tough Fatana Gawa Mate Bosaru, Lagan Kara and Lagan Mate de Gasaram. So you could interpret that plan in many ways. All of them talk about two, two things. One which is the focus. And the one which is the what is shared in between. So the plan talks about one focal space. Everything focuses towards that. Everyone is looking there. It is that semicircle. Huh? And this is something which you can then 
then you go into history then you go and find out what was and you try to establish what it was for but the plan itself says something you got it huh? Yes, Let me I'm show you. Uh, yes, somebody was saying something. No, sir, I was just responding. Okay. So let me show you a few other things now. So, any work of architecture will have a periphery, a boundary. It will have some sort of a center. And it will have places where you can go in and out, what I have drawn in red. Those are thresholds. It doesn't matter what is the shape of the plan in total. But irrespective of what you have, this will be always there. Now, this doesn't mean always a wall. For example, let's say, imagine that there is a big forest and there's a clearing in the middle of it. And there's only grass there. And some stone has been put in the middle of that grass. And there are four paths coming to that clearing in the forest from different directions. It, that is also a, a structured space. And it says, in a way, it's a kind of architecture. That is, the periphery can change from wall to maybe columns to different kinds of things. It may have be more enclosed, less enclosed. It may be more completely controlled, less completely controlled, but it creates a boundary. So there is a change from inside to outside. You understand this? Yeah? You will have to say whether you understand or not. Yes, sir. All right. Now let's take in section. Here I've shown one person standing on the ground. Below, in the ground, deep below, there could be places. High above, also places. So the ground is the threshold in that case. Just uh, you look at our our stories, our language. Huh? Hmm? Yes, sir. So there is a difference between the, the above and below. And this also shows up. So the diagram on the right shows you up, down, in and out. So there, this up and down is very important. And wherever there is a building which is a very significant, uh, important building, uh, important in the sense of the cultural values, there will be an emphasis on the up and down direction. So there will be a tall space, there may, there may be a domed space, there may be light coming from above, there may be a deep uh, 
uh, set of steps going down. Remember Motera. So up and down is very important. Just uh, and that also makes the meanings. So in your sections, when you start seeing, look at the difference between what happens at ground level, what happens above, what happens below, how high is the plinth. All of those things start saying something. Similarly, with reference to time, there is the past and there is the future. Now is the threshold. Now. It's the threshold. And the actions in time, they can be rhythmic, like happening every morning, every morning, every morning, or two times a day, two times a day, two times a day, or four times a day, or eight times a day, and so on. So they are rhythmic or they are random. So something happens and then nothing happens for a while, then something else happens and so on. So there are two kinds of ways in which activity happens within time. And they are either rhythmic or they are random. And they are slow and they are fast. And the threshold defines that connection between these. This, this particular concept is difficult to understand. But as you start designing, you will start seeing that certain things happen again and again and again. And it starts setting up a rhythm. And some things, it is nice to have some random things happen. And where is the rhythmic and where is the random? How fast should it be? or how slow should it be, is also in the architectural plan. So this is the stupa at Sanchi. Now you can imagine, this is the remains of the Buddha. Therefore, it is in a perfect hemisphere. And there are four directions north, south, east, west, and you move in a circumambulation. That means you go all around. There are four gateways. And just see from the gateway, sorry, from the gateway, you don't directly enter the path, you turn. So you won't be able to see the path from outside. From here, you cannot see the path. You will go inside and then you will turn and then you will walk around this. You will walk around this. Can you see my cursor? Yes. Yes, you climb yes up, sir. You climb up the stairs and you go around this in the Medi. It's quite interesting. In Buddhist thing also they call it Medi. That is this level. That level is known as Medi. And there is a vertical which goes right through the it is it is it is fixed inside the stupa. So you remember that diagram of the inside, the outside, the up and the down, which I had drawn. Here it is only that diagram. And it is also a diagram which conveys something about the fact that Gautama, the Buddha, died. But Buddha is something which is all the time there. So it is collecting time also. Okay, then another very interesting building. This is the library in Stockholm. So the library was a very, this is done in early 20th century. And the library is such an important place to them. So the whole building is a drum like this. 
And you can see the books are all arranged like that in that circle. The middle circle here. At various levels, you can walk around the bookshelves. There are also bookshelves in these side spaces. And the whole building creates a symmetrical, solid volume on the public space. Two other buildings like that. This is uh, both uh, the upper one is, uh, is the museum, Altes Museum, designed by a, a German, great German architect called Schinkel. So what does a museum say? Museum says this is everything our culture stands for. So there is that big drum space in the middle with a dome on top. There's nothing inside that drum. It's empty. But it says this is the center of the world, so to speak. And all the galleries are all around. Small and big galleries. It is that empty room which signifies this is the collection of our culture, is the museum. So James Sterling, when he designed the museum in Stuttgart, what he did was he made a courtyard, a circular courtyard. And these are all the galleries. Circular courtyard has nothing in it. You just walk through it. You can walk through it. It's not even connected to the museum. So he has reinterpreted. Now, remember, I was telling you about the unique shape. I was talking about scale. I was talking about sky and earth, ground. All of these factors are coming in these buildings. Khan's library at Exeter. Again, see how as you go towards the sky, as you go upwards, more light, more light, more light. And below the depths of it are the dark, solid places. So that's one interpretation of the library. But the other is there's a center. And there is an outer periphery. Khan loves to do this. The books are in the center. This is an empty space which simply says, oh, books are important, the most important thing. It's a six, six stories high space like that. So it's that space here. But here you can take a book. What does Khan say? Khan says the library is the place where the man with the book goes to the light. He takes the book from here goes to where the light is. So it has an outward sense of collecting light, an inward sense of the most important center, and a middle zone, which is where the books are, the artifacts are. This is another building by Khan. And you can see his sketches. So first he draws that this, this was to be a, 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 a synagogue, a Jewish um, worship place. But it also had to have a school along with it. So first diagram he draws, you can see here, on one side the synagogue, on the other side the school. Then he writes underneath, no. Then he says, wait, now I can... Can I connect the school in a certain way? School becomes like this. Then I put rooms of the school like this, like this. Finally, it comes to this diagram at the top. So there is the school as something that relates to the outside. The synagogue, which relates to the sky through the light. And the space in between. This is the first plan that he did. This is how it was actually finally built. So you can see that I took a simple thing of the square and the circle and the scales and the idea of the ground and the sky. 
as the basis of creating meaning. You can study these buildings on your own later, but you will find that in your next exercise, this will become very important. Whatever you are going to study as the buildings which, which bring across cultural meanings, whether it is a mosque, a church, a temple, all of these are ways in which they convey a certain meaning. And uh, through that study, you will start understanding how the architecture of that of those institutions can start creating a meaningful um, uh, can suggest to you how to behave there. Yes. So now we can. Did you? Just, I want to ask the students, did you mostly understand or mostly didn't understand? Mostly you understood? Understood. Param is saying understood. Vedanshi? Mostly, uh, so what we will do is maybe in the next session we will look at some of the analysis that the students have done, the buildings that they have chosen, and then we will we will suggest further. Um, uh, clarity on them. Whatever you don't worry about whether your work is right or wrong. Do it and we'll discuss it. Okay. Uh, Vedanshi, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. What about Yash? Yash, you have understood some of it? I'm just reading names and the... Yes, I understood. Uh, you understood? Okay. okay. I think it would be good if the students put their videos on so that yeah. we can we can interact at least for five ten minutes. Uh, just for last. It few would be minutes. really good if, if you can. Yes, last can. few minutes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vijay sir is here. So yeah. Vijay sir is here. Oh, yeah. I see. Nice, nice. Hmm. Kush, why did you switch off the video again? Ah, yes. It's a good haircut you have there. You should show us. Ah. So, you people, you are looking tired or you are looking generally fresh? Ah. Is it okay? Was the class tiring or was it okay? Sir, ek be wagi apache tired thi je. Ek be ek be wagi apache. Ha? Continue online ma betha hoye itle. To apne sawar na poor ma karu ye? Pehlu. Aaj aaj na. Joshua, we'll we'll try. I'll I'll ask uh, the faculty what times are suitable. We'll see if there is some way in which we can come fresh into this thing. It will be nice. Okay. Kishore sir is telling. Yeah, yeah. He's not open. He's not started his video. Some of you have got very good working places. I can see that. Um, who was it just now? He, he had a very good chair. Imagine. They walked very easily here. 
Nice. It's good to see you people. Yeah. It feels like I'm actually speaking. Otherwise, I feel like I'm speaking in the air and the only people I know are Vicky and Sandrinda and then I have to make jokes with the understand. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I can see you, I can, I can think of other kinds of jokes. So, yeah, so we can talk to each other. So, yes, so let's meet next time then. Huh? Yes, sir. You have questions yeah. for today? In, in case somebody else has a question, then we can do it now or next, next time also we can again do questions. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'll see you then. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.